I don't know, Bob. I don't think those Tennesseans have anything on us happy Texans, right? Well, and also the people in Nevada, you know, <laughs> what are their houses worth these days? <laughs> that could be a problem. That may uh, be part yeah. of the issue. Let's take a look at our temperatures. <clears throat> As I mentioned at the top of the show, we have yet to hit 90 officially here at DFW. Two times we have hit 89, and today was one of them. But right now it's 90 in Arlington. But look at 94 mineral wells and Aveline coming in right now at 98 degrees, just two degrees shy of the century mark. And let's take a look at the relative humidity. We know about the fire danger out in West Texas. It is going to be super critical during the day tomorrow with relative humidity about 5% and 40 mile per hour winds. Here here, the RH values drop off significantly from the low 40s here to about 16% in Abilene. So that's why the uh, red flag warning is in effect for the extreme western and northwestern parts of uh, North Texas, but not including us. However, burn bans are in effect in all the counties basically splitting the Metroplex in half and off to the west. Burn bans in effect, no outdoor uh, burning whatsoever. Not quite as bad, but you still you want to be careful at all times from the Metroplex on to the east where relative humidities have not been quite as low and also just a little bit more in the way of precip. Now, as far as the satellite and radar for the big race tonight, no problems, gonna be mostly fair. I do think we'll become cloudy, typical late night and early morning low clouds tomorrow morning. But it is really going to be warm. Probably the warmest night so far this year. Last night we were at 69. I'm going low 70s overnight. And what we're going to have to watch is this next storm. The big one I showed you before the commercial. It's going to be zipping across way to the north tomorrow. And it's going to send a dry line through. You know, the dry lines here in North Texas and what they can do. The potential for thunderstorms along dry lines can be severe. But I think we're going to escape for the most part. I think East Texas maybe will be under the gun for some stronger thunderstorms. Here are the current temperatures, upper 80s, middle 80s out to the east, but not far from 100 degrees out in Abilene right now. Winds have been howling today. Look at this. 24 sustained, gusting to 36, close to 40 miles per hour. But uh, again, our relative humidity values are high enough that we don't have the real critical fire danger, but you always have to be careful. 88, 62, your temperature and your dew point, there's the 89, 69 was the low this morning, only about 71 overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. And the strong winds continue tonight. The cool front approaches tomorrow, but the dry line will approach first early in the afternoon. Maybe a couple of thunder showers, but I think most of them will be off in East Texas. Could see a sprinkle or two tomorrow night. Then beautiful, wouldn't well, you know it, beautiful weather moves in for the early part of next week. Tomorrow's highs maybe one or two degrees cooler. Windy, warm tonight, fair skies, but low clouds late, 68 to 72. We'll still make the mid 80s, cloudy early, couple of thunderstorms, mainly in East Texas tomorrow afternoon. Temperature about 86 degrees, beautiful weather to start next week, and then we do it all over again. Middle part of next week, another shot of thunderstorms late Wednesday and Thursday. Becky's got that morning forecast.